Hello guys and today I'm showing you my secret, my lovely Nest.js, my lovely Node.js framework. It is really a nice framework. Today I think like in this video and the following videos I'm trying to make a Nest.js tutorial about it and try to explain every part of this Node.js framework. And if uh, I hope that you guys know what Nest.js is because it gained a lot of traction, a lot of popularity recently, where lots of people talk about it, and uh, and I think many people are trying to implement with Nest.js in their production systems. So in this tutorial, beginner tutorial, what you may need to know first because Nest.js is using a lot of different components under the hood which would be Node.js and Express. And in this tutorial, we are heavily emphasizing on Express because Node.js, as a default, is using Express.js. Um, TypeScript, as a default, Node.js uses TypeScript, especially, especially, it's using decorators. And I hope I hope that you understand decorators. If you don't understand decorators, it's all right. And I, I'm, I'm not, I, and I hope that I don't make it that difficult and that confusing with that decorator stuff. And I think, yeah, you, you don't need to implement decorators on yourself. You maybe the concept of decorators possibly. And yeah, like rest concepts, what is a port patch, uh, get and those kind of Call RESTful concept, how we do the endpoints, how Node.js, how you do Express.js uh, with the, those RESTful endpoints and those kind of stuff. Yeah, like just the basics, just the basics, cover those basics and then I think we're good to go in this tutorial. And the requirements, um, I think, yeah, there are like lots of Node.js versions. And I'm currently using Node.js 14. But I have used 15 and 16, and I think those kind of versions are all right. So I hope that you, you if you want to follow me, just install the Node.js 14. And if you want to use the latest version, latest and greatest, it's all right. So you could use 15 and 16, so it's okay. Get some coffee, and if you don't like coffee, get some tea, get some karak, like milk tea, those kind of stuff. And yeah, sometime as well. And then, yeah, I hope that, yeah, we could do it together. Uh, this tutorial, and finish the tutorial together, right? So the table of contents. First, we will talk about the installation. So what you need for the packages in order to run the Nest.js, right? And the introduction, all about the overview of how Nest.js structures it. It's number three, controllers and providers validators, how we are validating the get and request and those rest endpoints, dependencies between modules. I will talk about that later in chapter five, right? Chapter six, logging activities, which I love about chapter six would be my favorite one. Chapter six and chapter nine, those two chapters are my favorites because those ones I really emphasize on. Um, chapter seven would be guards, Chapter eight, we'll make a project using REST uh, concepts. And we will do chapter nine. In that project that we have made, we will use the GraphQL instead. So an alternative way of doing a project, right? And yeah, that's about the table of contents. But yeah, if you don't know Nest.js, what is Nest.js? Uh, you could think of that Nest.js is, okay, first of all, it is a backend framework, right? And the backend framework in this one, it emphasizes on um, scalability wise. What I mean is in whether you are doing a production grade project that is being used by thousands and thousands of people, Nest.js can handle this. Be it if you wanna do it a microservice, which is a madness, right? Or if you're doing a monolithic, you could do in Nest.js really easily. And and on top of that, the code, the code, it is clean. It is clean. How clean the code is in Nest.js. It is wonderful. It is wonderful. Compared to other frameworks that I've seen, possibly Nest.js is very elegant compared to the other frameworks. It uses the best practices. It uses, it is modular and, uh, 
yeah, people talk about modularity a lot, but yeah, modular. I will talk about what modular means in this regard, right? So yeah, that will be it. And yeah, in the next section, we will do installation. And yeah, hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Bye.